This is the structure factor formula and it contributes to the intensity of the XRD peaks. We know that when we shine X-ray on a crystal, we know crystal made from unit cell, unit cell made from atoms, atoms made from electrons. So when we shine X-ray on a crystal, so there are two types of electrons. One is tightly bound, one is loosely bound structure factor is very very important parameter in calculation of XRD peak intensity we know that this is basically the XRD uh, pattern here uh, and X axis there is a 2 theta and Y axis there is intensity and we get some peaks like this so this structure factor play the role in showing that how this structure factor contribute towards the intensity of XRD peak. So if you look into the Bragg's law, the Bragg's law is basically lambda 2d sine theta. So in this whole equation, there is nothing about the intensity, but there, this, this Bragg's law basically talk about the peak position basically. This is the 2 theta value or theta value because once we, we know the 2 theta, so we can easily calculate the theta value, right? So structure factor, this is the basic formula of this structure fa factor. And we can see here this uh, uh, this is called atomic scattering factor. This is also involved here, and it is basically the sum of all atoms here. And these x, y, z are basically the position of these atoms uh, located in the unit cells. X-ray basically scattering from the crystal. Now crystal is basically uh, th this crystal is basically if we break down into a small pieces. So we will get these three things. The first one is basically electron. Uh, the second is basically the atom. The third one is the unit cell. This means the whole crystal is made from unit cells. So the, the first thing is electron. Basically, X-ray basically scatter from electrons. This is the most important. And I will explain that how X-ray scatter from electron. Now the atom is made from electrons. So if X-ray scatter from electron by default. X-ray is scatter from atom in all directions. Now, when there are many atoms combined, so that we call unit cell. Like like this is the the, the unit cell here. You see, this is a unit cell here. Or uh, let let make it uh, more uh, like this here. This cube structure here. You see. So when we we just hypothetically locating the atoms here at the corner. So this is unit cell. So unit cell basically means many atoms. So many atoms combined it make unit cell but the, 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 the arrangement should be in order right so this is the structure factor formula and it contribute to the intensity of the XRD peaks we know that when we shine x-ray on a crystal we know crystal made from unit cell unit cell made from atoms atoms made from electrons so when we shine x-ray and a crystal so there are two types of electrons one is tightly bound one is loosely bound like on a tightly bound electron we know that x-ray is electromagnetic radiation it can it carries an electric field this electric field applying force so when it apply force on this tightly bound electron this start vibration it start vibrating to and from motion this electron starts and we know that any charged object start vibration it emit electromagnetic radiations and those emitted electromagnetic radiations are exactly the incident x-ray and this is we call coherent scattering and because of this coherent scattering we get xrd peaks it is unmodified scattering unmodified when we get incoherent or modified scattering that is basically compton scattering and that is from loosely bound electron now we know that atoms are made from electrons so the the, the, the heavier atoms we the heavier uh, atoms we have the, 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 the higher the peaks we will have because uh, these atoms uh, uh, contain number of electrons Z here and this is basically we, we have this thing here atomic scattering factor in this formula this is the atomic scattering factor and you, you can see we sum this all number of atoms now we know that when this atom is alone so that scattering is something else because it scattered the x-ray in all directions but this atom is now not alone this atom is basically in combination with other atoms like in the form of unit cells wonderful this is very very conceptual explanation here and now 
we get scattering here from large number of atoms and these atoms are arranged in a way that it gives us certain diffraction in one direction and in that diffraction basically when the scattering from different atoms reinforce each other and we get peak here excited peaks and when the uh, there is no reinforcement from the scatterings so basically we don't get peak in xrd pattern right and this is you know this is we very very rarely we get the uh, coherent scattering uh, the reinforcement this is why in uh, theta 2 theta setup or theta t t theta or theta theta setup in xrd setups we always rotate the sample we always rotate the sample as well as the detector and we also rotate the x-ray in, in in all these scenario we all we always rotate two things among the three because we want to get the maximum reinforcement from different atoms to observe the the the, the internal structure the pattern of the atoms etc so this is how the structure factor basically contributes toward the uh, an xrd peak intensity